I'm pleased to congratulate CFA Society Hong Kong on its 30th anniversary. The occasion underlines the Society's long-standing importance as an industry-wide forum. No less important, it marks three decades of dedicated efforts to raise the professional and ethical standards of Hong Kong's financial analysts and investment practitioners. That central mission was internationally recognized this year. In June, the Society won the CFA Institute's Most Outstanding Society Award in the category of societies with over a thousand members, the second time it has been so honored. The Institute is the global association of investment professionals, comprising more than 170,000 members in some 160 countries and territories. CFA Society Hong Kong, the Institute's fourth largest, boasts more than 6,700 members. That is not surprising given the wealth of financial talent in Hong Kong. Given too that we have long been among the world's leading financial centers. Our stock market has increased by over 40 fold in size over the past 30 years, from 949 billion in 1991 to over 42 trillion last year. Our bond market is expanding with the government green bond programs borrowing ceiling, doubling to Hong Kong dollar 200 billion last year, and an inaugural retail green bond issue this May. We have plans as well to develop Hong Kong into a regional carbon trading center, channeling international capital to support the green transformation of our country's economy. The National 14 Five-Year Plan lays out additional long-term opportunities, including enhancing Hong Kong's status as the world's premier offshore renminbi business hub. The plan also supports our development as an international asset management center and risk management center, and our pursuit of the wide-ranging prospects there for us in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Victor Bay Area Development and the Bell and Road Initiative. In short, Hong Kong's financial services sector is primed for continuing growth. The groundbreaking Stock Connect schemes were joined last year by Wealth Management Connect and in July by the inclusion of ETF Connect. The latest mainland Hong Kong mutual access arrangement, Swap Connect, was also recently announced. And I am hopeful it will get going early in the new year. Swap Connect will, for the first time, introduce mutual market access in the realm of financial derivatives products, offering more diverse risk management tool options to investors and enhancing the ecosystem for derivatives products of the two places. The implementation of the initiative will further support Hong Kong to strengthen its function as a global offshore renminbi business hub and a risk management center. So many opportunities, so much promise for our financial services professionals to make it work with maximum efficiency, we need talents. We need to count on the expertise and educational programs of the society and our other financial services leaders. Once again, my congratulations on the 30th anniversary of CFA Society Hong Kong. I wish the society and its members the best of business and health in the coming year. Thank you.